Hey everyone, Dan Nordquist from Washington State University here, sharing the ways I stay in the loop with all that research administration stuff out there, particularly in my case for pre-award and research development information. I'm regularly looking at policy and regulation updates, funding opportunities, sponsor news items, national priority issues, state and regional topics, etc. Basically anything that impacts me as a research administrator and our faculty here at WSU. You know, the easiest way I have found to do that is through RSS feeds and listservs. The focus of this particular discussion is on RSS feeds, which are basically feeds of information from various sources that your mail software, like Outlook, can manage through an RSS feed mailbox. All right, so here's my list. I am a huge fan of the grants.gov funding op RSS feed. I set up my list view by agency so I can filter out sponsors that WSU normally does not get funding from. I then can tell my boss that I look at all the grant funding opportunities that come out of the federal government. Next, I subscribe to the news from the National Academies feed, which is also a big favorite because I'm seeing the results of reports issued by the Academy, important announcements, but I'm also seeing when new committees are being formed so we can try and get our faculty involved. AAU also has a feed I like to keep track on what's new at AAU. I also subscribe to USDA, NSF, and DOE RSS news feeds. There's funding op information, but also important information about national issues, new regulations, strategic directions, and oftentimes there are news items that are very important for our faculty and university leadership, so I forward that information to the applicable groups. You know, the Science Insider is great information as well. It is up-to-the-minute news and analysis from Science Magazine. R&D Magazine and Short Sharp Science I have found informative as well. You know, the Pacific Northwest National Lab is in our neck of the woods, so I'm tracking their news because we collaborate with them often. So I want to keep abreast of their information on their news feeds. In addition, I subscribe to my own institution's news feeds. So I can see the impact WSU is having across the nation and the world. You know, great stuff happens right in your own backyard. Lastly, our office has its own RSS feeds where we help the chairs, deans, chancellors, VPs, and our news folks with simple notifications of recent faculty awards. It also helps me with a quick summary. We also have a notification for recently ended awards to see if there's a good news story that we can run for WSU news feeds. Remember, I only talk about RSS feeds. There are a lot of great listservs out there too, but maybe that's for another time.